Hey, David here from 123 Day Trade. So, what does Legos and day trading have in common? So, this is something I want to talk about. So, you know, just simple a Lego, you know, a Lego. I mean, these are things that, that we played with as kids, right? At least most of us did. And uh, we understand what a Lego is, right? So, we, we have a Lego, right? And then we put it on um, a base foundation and it's a pretty sturdy um, thing correct uh, it, you know it's going to be kind of hard to knock over and whatnot and what I'm going to get at is that even when I was coaching football back in the day seven and eight year old kids could get this concept so when we're building a base and building a foundation you know you're building upon you know the cornerstone and you're building and this kind of base is is, is being built right now in, in the day trading and we're going to explain exactly what all this means in just a few minutes but uh, as we continue to build our base you know we're adding to our base you know and we're building this structure and you know this is just simple logical information that I'm sharing with you today and how it relates to day trading and we're just slowly building our base until we reach the pinnacle, the top. And I want to leave this vision with you right here. This, everyone really that's taken, uh, taken geometry knows what this shape is, right? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a triangle. Uh, it's a triangle. It's, you know, it's like the Egyptian triangle or a pyramid, correct? But it's a triangle. It's it's one of the strongest structure that men has ever made uh, or know knows about. And this is a logical way of how you should be approaching day trading as it relates to adding contracts. That's what we're going to get to. If you reverse this over and turn it this way, it's an inverse pyramid, correct? And whoa, oh, whoa, oh pretty unstable right I mean this is seven eight year old kids get this concept so think about this way you got this inverse pyramid and you you got one contract here and your next level you put on two your next level you put on four the next level you put on eight and then that last level up here you're putting on 16 what kind of pyramid structure have you just created this inverse pyramid that you've created I want you to have this visualization that you're seeing. This is called an inverse pyramid, and it's very easy to knock over. Now, let's take it a, a different approach. Let's say that we go the uh, that you have enough of the of an account balance to do this, but you put on your biggest position at your opening trade situation. In other words, you put on 16 here, and then in a winning position, you're putting on eight. And then you're putting on four, then you're putting on two, finally put on that one. So you have one, two, three, four, five different times that you're going to be buying into the market. Now this works best in a long-term uh, strategy as far as uh, it's not doesn't it's not really conducive to day trading. Sometimes you can put on your biggest position, maybe put on the second position, but it's really tough to be putting on put on all of the positions in, in a day trading day. So, but it's still I want to leave you with this vision of what a true pyramid and how hard it is to knock over right this is how you build your day trading account as well is it, when you're looking at futures trading and you're looking at positional and swing trading you want to put on your biggest position and the base of it and as you're going up the tree structure or the pyramid structure you're decreasing your bet sequence. So 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. But if you do this, obviously, and the reason that you do this is that you think it's cheap, right? 1, and then I'll add 2, then I'll add 4, then I'll add 8, then I'll add 16. And then if you're doing this in a martingale and losing, losing each time that you add to this contract sequence, you just to break even, you got to get back down to where you first started, roughly, or maybe it's right here in the middle, excuse me. 
but you still have to have all of that leverage to be able to hold it as well, correct? All right, so that's five minutes. I, hopefully I made my point here today. We've got uh, a lot more coming around, so I'm going to get going. So think about this when you're trading. Think about this pyramid structure and why it makes sense and why if you do and reverse this like a martingale strategy where you're this is this would be this is a this this right here would be your martingale strategy right now right you're adding to a losing position this is what i would recommend that you do you add to a winning position and you decrease contract size as you move up all right dave's not here for one two three day trade.com Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. So that's what Legos and day trading have in common.